hello everyone welcome back to the course and today we are going to design home screen so let's get started let's give it a background of white and uh, let's make our status bar black bar style to content dark okay okay looking nice now uh, we are going to add a search bar here I will not be teaching all of the Tailwind CSS classes because there are a lot of them so but I will be teaching enough so that you can design almost anything. You can visit the Tailwind website and you can check out all the classes there. Okay so we are going to have a bar here. We will have a search icon and a text box. So let's just center them and give it a padding it should be rounded and let's add a border of gray okay so now we are going to add an icon here but for that we need to add some icon library so we're going to use react native feather icons they're very easy to use just copy this and run into here into the terminal you also need to install react native svg i've already installed them so i don't need to install them just copy this and use it here and the way you can add icon here is icon dot the name of the icon and give it a height and a width of the icon and the color of the icon okay so looking nice now we need to have a text input here so the text input and we need a place for the restaurants and let's give it a margin left and flex one so that it should take the whole space okay so the next thing is to add a location icon and the location of the user okay so let's add a view for that let's give it a space of one and a border of gray for the left okay adding left of two and border left gray of 300 okay so let's add a map icon here map pin height of 20 and the base of 20 and the color of gray and then we're going to have a text saying the location of the user Let's say New York. Okay, so our search bar is completed. Now we need to have a sliders icon here for the restaurants filter. So let's add an icon here. It should be rounded. So icon is sliders. Height of 20 and the width of 20. Let's give it a stroke width of 2.5 and this color should be white. Okay, for now let's use the background color of gray, but we are going to use our own theme colors. So let's create a file. I think we already have a file. So let's add our theme colors, theme colors. And let me just copy and paste these colors here. Notice that the background color receives an opacity to control the uh, opacity of the color. So we are going to use that. So let's remove these and try our theme colors. Theme colors dot background color. And let's give it a capacity of 1. Okay. So our search bar part is finished. Now let's move to designing our categories. This will be the main content area and it will be a scroll bar to scroll the categories and all the featured restaurants let's give it a padding bottom okay so now let's add a component here we'll add all the categories in a different component categories first let's create the component 
categories and let's I just add a basic function and use that here okay so for the categories we'll be using dynamic values for all the categories coming from the sanity but for now because we haven't implemented sanity yet so for now we'll be using dummy data so let's just create a file uh, let's create a folder constants and we will create a file to hold all our dummy data for all the categories and the restaurants so here i have pasted the all the categories and restaurants you can see all the categories have a name and an image and id and we have all these featured restaurants and all the featured rows have has these restaurants and all the restaurants have these dishes so if i open this restaurant you can see all the dishes and all the images data is there so uh, for now we'll be using this dummy data but later we'll, we'll be adding to sanity so all the data will be dynamic okay so let's uh, start designing our categories let's give it a margin top let's add a scroll view for all the categories this will be horizontal and this option will hide the scroll bar let's give it uh, an overflow of visible because we will be adding a shadow so if we don't give this property then the shadow will be contained in the container so we need to give that and here we need to map through all the categories these are the categories and we map through all of them and show them one by one okay so let's return a view key should be index and uh, let's style it justify center and item center let's give it a margin height of 6 and add touchable opacity padding and should be rounded so here we give this uh, shadow okay for now we'll add the background of gray but later it will be dynamic so let's display the category name okay so all of our categories are displaying but we also need an image so let's add an image for each category let's give it a width of 45 and height of 45 and add the source of the image category dot image okay so it doesn't look good but we'll fix this in a second okay so now we need to add a function here so that when you click on a category this will highlight that category so we need to have a state for active category by default this will be null and uh, when user presses on the category we will set the category id here category dot id okay so now we can use this category to highlight the selected category we will check if the current category is active then we can add a button class which is if the category is selected then the background should be a little dark and otherwise it will be a light gray okay and let's add a text class if the category is active all should be semi bold and text should be gray 800 less gray okay so uh, let's use these dynamic classes here um, let's wrap these inside curly brackets and let's add our dynamic class for button and let's do the same for the text class uh, use state is not defined we need to import use state okay so now everything looks good but uh, this text should be outside the touchable opacity 
Okay, so everything looks good. When I select the category, it should go a little dark and all the others should have a little light gray color. Everything looks perfect. The scroll bar is working. Okay, so our next step is to show our featured rows. All the featured rows should show the restaurants. So let's move to the next step. We'll have all the featured rows here. Featured. This is a featured section. And uh, we will have a view. With the Let's give it a margin top of 5. I've only added one feature object. So I'll be using that multiple times. So let's create an array for three objects. And we'll be using that, but don't worry, we'll be replacing this when we implement sanity. So we'll just go with the flow for now. Return, and this should return the featured row, uh, which we haven't created yet. So let's uh, create a featured row. Featured row. And let's create a functional component. Featured row. If I can spell it. Yeah. So featured row here and we need to pass the key index and the title of the featured row restaurants because all the featured rows have the other list of restaurants so we'll be passing that and a description item dot description okay so we are already seeing the featured row on the screen so let's move to it and design it uh, first we need to see all the title description and the restaurants okay so the next part is to show the title and the description let's add a view for that let's row justify between item center okay let's add a view for the title and description let's add a text and it should be bold large okay we're seeing the i title and let's add a text for the description as well it should be small and have a color of gray let's add a text small okay so description here Okay, so we can see the description now we need to add a view for see all button let's add a touch of opacity let's add a text for see all okay we need to give it a color of our theme so we'll be using the color from our theme text color and it should be a little bold okay looking nice uh, now let's uh, move to the next part and add our restaurants we'll add a scroll view it should be horizontal and let's hide the scroll bars like this and uh, let's give it a padding horizontally 15 okay the overflow should be visible because we're going to add a shadow for each card so restaurants so let's map through all of the restaurants and show them here restaurant and index so we're going to return a restaurant card which we haven't created yet so let's create a restaurant card here restaurant card basic functional component okay so let's import it here and pass our restaurant as an item uh, I think I spelled it wrong this should be restaurant like this and let's add the key here index and that's it uh, now we are also already seeing the restaurant cards here so let's move to it and design it we will be adding touchable without feedback because later we're going to uh, navigate through these cards to the restaurant screen so we don't need that feedback here okay so let's design our restaurant card it should be rounded 
and should have a shadow of large and the first thing we need to do is display an image of the restaurant uh, class name out of 36 and width of 64 and it should be rounded at the top let's add the uh, we need to import the item as well item dot image okay we're seeing the restaurant images so now we need to add a view for the restaurant information like name and description class name should have a padding padding bottom as well add a spacing vertical now let's add a text for the restaurant name okay we are seeing the restaurant name let's design it it should be a little large and font should be bold let's get a pad padding top of two okay now uh, let's add some information about this restaurant we're going to display all the stars and all the reviews data here to display the stars we need to show a star image here which i've already included in the project so just just use the full star image here asset slash images full star bng and give it a height of four and a width of four okay so let's use the stars data should be green and here we need to show the stars okay we are seeing the stars data and we also need to uh, show the reviews this should be gray now let's display our reviews here item dot reviews let's add a review text as well now let's add the type of the restaurant it should be a little bold semi bold and item dot type uh, i think it is the category so let's use category okay so we're seeing the category now next part is to show the restaurant address at the bottom so we'll create a new view here at the bottom and this is a class name of flex items should be centered and spacing of horizontal now we need to show the icon here but let's import the icons from home screen let's copy them here and we are going to use the map pin icon here icon dot map pin and let's give it a height and width and the color width of 15 and the height of 15 okay we can see the icon and let's add a text for the address of the restaurant it should be small nearby let's copy this dot here item dot address okay so our record is almost finished now only thing left to do is add a shadow color from our theme so let's add a shadow color theme dot background color let's give it a opacity of 0 0.2 and to spread it let's add a shadow radius of 7 okay so you can see the shadow around all the cards all the categories are working and all the restaurant cards are working the scrollables are working okay so this is it for the home screen in the next video we're going to add the restaurant screen so that when user clicks on a restaurant it should take it to the menu screen so see you in the next video